In this video, we're going to learn how to use the is alphanumeric function in C. So the is alphanumeric function can be used to check if a character is alphanumeric, where an alphanumeric character is a character that's a letter or a digit. So the first thing we'll do is include the C-type library where the is alphanumeric function is defined. So we'll have here include ctype.h. Then down here, we'll declare a test car variable, C. And we'll assign to C the letter lowercase a, which is an alphanumeric character. So the alphanumeric characters are the characters uppercase a to uppercase z, lowercase a to lowercase z, and zero to nine. And these are the only alphanumeric characters. So if the character is not one of these, it is not alphanumeric. So next, let's test out the function by passing it C. We'll have here if is al num when it's passed C. So this is the is alphanumeric function, and the function is going to accept a character as an argument. The function is going to return true if that character is alphanumeric and false otherwise. So if the character is alphanumeric, We'll output here percent %c to open the character is alphanumeric followed by a new line and then c to open c. Otherwise, we'll output percent %c to open the character is not alphanumeric followed by a new line and then c to open the character. We could then save compile and run our program and we'll get here lowercase a is alphanumeric because the character is alphanumeric. We could test the function with uppercase t. And again, if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here uppercase t is alphanumeric. We could test it with a digit, like seven. And again, if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here seven is alphanumeric. If we gave it something like a punctuation mark, like the period or dot character, then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get period is not alphanumeric because the character is not a letter or digit. We could also pass the function something like a space character. Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here space is not alphanumeric. We could also pass the function a character that's part of a string. So for example, we could have here car s is equal to code dash 404. So each character in this string is stored at an index in the car ray s. So for example, this uppercase c character is stored at the index zero. This next lowercase o character is stored at the index one and so on for the rest of the characters in the string. So for example, if we pass the function, the character in the string at the index two, that's going to be this lowercase d character here. We could copy this and paste it here and here as well. Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here lowercase d is alphanumeric because it is, but if we pass the function s at the index four, that's going to be this dash character here, which is not alphanumeric. We'll copy this and paste it here and here. And then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here dash is not alphanumeric. Now more accurately, what the is alphanumeric function returns when it's passed an alphanumeric character is a positive integer, but in C, a positive integer is considered true. Now, if the function is passed a non-alphanumeric character, what the function returns is zero, and in C, zero is considered false. So this is how we can use the is alphanumeric function in C to check if a character is alphanumeric or not. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.